So this is 12.1.7. Consider a rectular octahedron, eight-sided figure, eight-sided three-dimensional figure with an edge length of eight centimeters. It says draw a net of the regular octahedron and then find the exact surface area. So let's start with this net, John. Um, I think that the good place to start is think about this octahedron in terms of two square base pyramids. So here would be one square base pyramid. Here's the square base. And here would be, and I'll put it in way up purple. Here would be the second square base pyramid. Here would be the base. Let's see how they share that base. But then here, the it goes down to this point, like this, this, and this. And what we can see here is that if we start by thinking about how these two pyramids connect, what we could do is then highlight one edge, one of these edges. And we know that if that is the edge, we know that if this is the edge where the two pyramids connect, then up at the top will be this green triangle, doesn't matter which one, it could be this one facing us, outward facing us, and along the bottom is this triangle. So that's the connection of these two square base pyramids. Now what we can do then is just think purely in terms of how would this square, well how would the square base pyramid on the top unfurl? Well we know that each of the faces will share an edge. So attached to this green face will be in another identical triangle, another congruent triangle. And attached to that one will be another triangle. So we have one, two, three, and we would need one more identical or congruent triangle face in order to be able to wrap these around and complete a square based pyramid on the top. And now we've got it because the bottom square base pyramid is exactly the same as the top except it's coming off in the other direction. So here would be one of the congruent faces. Here would be another of the congruent faces. And we said there were four congruent faces. So we have one, two, three, four. These will collapse to form the bottom square base pyramid. And then we have these, the top, one, two, three, four, to form the top square base pyramid. Okay, so done. So the next task for us is to then find the exact surface area. And that seems really complicated because it's a really complicated shape. But if we think about this, if we break this down into smaller into smaller, more familiar shapes, what we'd recognize is that every single face, we have to, in order to find the exact surface area, we're gonna have to add up the area of each of the faces of the triangles. Well, how many triangles are there? There's eight of them. So if we do eight times one triangular face, we should get our result. I'm actually gonna rewrite that. Um, hold on a second. Myself a little bit of bigger triangle to work with here. Here will be the triangle I work with. And our total surface area will equal to, be equal to eight times one of the triangles. And we know that any triangle is one half the base times the height. So that's what it's all about right now. It's finding the base and the height. Well, we know that the sides of each of the faces, it's a regular octahedron, so they each of the edges is eight. In an isosceles triangle, so each of the angles is 60. And so in order then to find this area, we'll drop an altitude, it'll form a right angle. And since it's an isosceles triangle, it'll bisect that top angle and look what we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So then we know that the shortest length of a right triangle is half the hypotenuse, so that's four. And the height is going to be the shortest side times root three. 
So now we're left with that last step of plugging in all our values. We know we have eight, that's the number of triangles we're talking about, eight times one half the base, which is eight, not four, the base is this entire length here, times the height, which is four root three. So in other words, what we have here, doing some quick math, that's four times 32 root three, and four times 32 is 128 root three. So the answer is 128 root three centimeters squared.